to my channel. So for this week's Whatever Wednesday, I am showing you how I organized my pantry. Now, it was a mess. Please do not judge the status of my pantry. I don't think it's exactly complicated. It's mainly just having containers and containers are wonderful things. So I think it was eating my hair. Excuse that. Anyway, without further ado, let me show you how I organize my pantry. <laughs> show you what it looks like in my kitchen right now but don't judge me because all the stuff that was in here is now all over here it's it's a complete disaster I have these wire baskets that I got from Walmart they were clearance for 250 I'm not sure how I'm gonna organize everything quite yet but I'm gonna use those for sure I might need to get some more got this from Ikea. I think it was $7. This is going to be our little snack box because my husband really likes to have, you know, snacks available. And then I got two different kinds of organizers, organizer jars from Ikea. And I have them in one, two, three, four different sizes. And then I got these for like cereal and um, other things like that. I think I have that lid on crooked, but I'm gonna start tackling this mess. <laughs> bought this uh, three drawer truss from Walmart um, just for extra food storage things that have too much to fit in the glass jars as well as just things that aren't that pretty I mean you'll still be able to see them I don't know if I'll be able to like or if I want to like hide and maybe get some privacy in there I'm undecided on that for right now I think it's pretty good I have it off to the side instead of the middle now because um, I have a little tray that I want to, the snack container that I want to put on it, and this bar is in the way. Plus, it gives me a nice area for little things like lemonade and stuff like that. Right now, I'm going to just wipe it out and clean it because I just got it from the store and I just want it to be clean before I start putting food in it. Well, that was fast. Now it's done and ready for me to put crap into it. Food, not crap. Just, yeah. <laughs> We do need to go to the grocery store. We don't have a ton of food right now. Um, also, I don't know what to put behind these jars because it feels like just a ton of wasted space but I don't know what's like aesthetically pleasing to put behind there besides paper towels and one only needs so many paper towels in their life so yeah I'm struggling on that but um, these drawers I'm gonna put like, fresh produce and um, we have tortillas and chips 
This is like stuff that we don't really eat that much, which is why we have so much ramen. We don't really eat it. And then the bottom drawer is just extra stuff. Yeah, it's just got extra stuff. And then over here, we just have our Costco size olive oil, our extra rice, also Costco sized. Um, baking soda, which is almost out, and the lemonade, which I showed you earlier. Also, we have our IKEA plastic bag storage, because so we use these for trash bags and stuff. And I know it's crooked. It really bothers me that it is crooked, but I couldn't put it up higher because of the shelf, and I can't put it centered because it needs two contact points on the the back, and it just it just has to be crooked. Hi, Pixel, what are you doing? You investigate mom's work? That snack box not for you. Oh, I didn't show you the snack box. So the snack box has to be over on the side because of that bar. Um, and the snack box is full of junk food. <laughs> I feel like everybody's snack box has to be full of junk food, right? Or is it just our family? Because that's just where all the junky things go. You don't eat them for meals, but in between, on the weekends, you know, don't judge me. So after I put everything in the pantry, I then went ahead and did the labels. If you haven't seen my DIY jar labels slash pantry labels, I will include a link for it up in the bar or up in the top right now. You know the struggles that I went through with that, not including it in this video, obviously. But yeah, I did that and this is what my pantry looks like now. <laughs> to just uh, let you guys see this little nerdiness that we did here. Um, my husband's a software engineer, so I did tags. Oop, there goes my phone. Um, I did tags for these labels. They wouldn't really fit on these, but for these I did actual cereal tag, popcorn, Cheez-Its tag. Um, I don't know if you could tell. There's a little Easter egg for you. Not those. But those. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it inspires you to organize your pantry. It's a life changer. You should do it. I'm just saying, you know. And this, you know, you don't have to follow exactly what I did. Like you can use any baskets. They sell good baskets at the Dollar Tree. I just didn't find any at my particular one that I really liked. It's just amazing to have organization in your pantry. It makes cooking easier. It makes cleaning your kitchen easier. It's great. I recommend it. Anyway, I hope you guys all have amazing weeks and I will see you guys on Saturday for another DIY video. Bye guys.